here we are at uh, 56 Gerard Street, Northeast Washington, D.C. Okay. The neighborhood looks good. There's street parking. Trinidad College is around the corner. The house across the street has been renovated. All right. Nice clean street. So let's come on in. Some damage here on the front porch. The neighbor's property. The neighbor's property on the right and left. Okay, so what we got here. All right, so we're inside here, the living room area. The walls look halfway decent. Popcorn ceiling, had to come down. All right. So come out of here to the uh, dining room area. Small, but it's expected. It's a DC property. Most DC homes are pretty small. This is a three twos, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Okay. So looking at it from this view here, we've got decent hardwood floors. We may be able to save them and stain them. The kitchen, the appliances are gone. Cabinets need to come out. It's got a gas stove. Okay, there's like a little porch, enclosed porch right off the kitchen, which, uh, doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's see what we got back here. Oh wow, it's got a, we can actually make this into a driveway. Well, that'd be great, parking is fucking needed down here in DC. So the back doesn't look too bad. We'll go over to the alley and look at the house from this angle. I got you. So here's the house from the back of the house. Got a little mutt over here. Looks like it's got an entrance in the basement. Separate entrance. Okay, so how the Joyce's look here. The Joyce's look pretty decent. We might have to re-support some of the beams. Um, put some fire blocks in there to tighten it up. The brick columns look pretty good. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, coming back into the kitchen. Ooh, let's go down to the basement. The basement don't look too right. A lot of mold. What do we got here? We got a 150 amp panel. Pretty decent basement, but all this stuff's gonna do. Come off of here, you see all this? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of mold down here. You can smell it. I mean, you can actually, you know, see all that stuff here. Let's walk back here, what we got back here? Got a closet underneath the, the steps, which is functional. Uh, 
room back here. Got the Crips and the Bloods. Yes, look down here. The gas line. Okay, I can knock this wall down, make this all into one big room. You got your water heater here. I'm surprised they haven't come stole the copper yet. Okay, this whole little boiler system's had to go. It's totally outdated. Yank it out and replace it. Yank it out and replace it. It's oil. So the oil tank must be buried underground. So if you follow the oil, oil line, follow the oil line, let's see. Okay, you got a half a little bathroom right here. Not a bad looking basement. Structure is pretty sound. There's no cracks in the foundation in here. <laughs> the oil tank must be buried underground. If it's not in the house, and we couldn't see it back there, then it must be buried underground. If that's the case, you definitely want to check to see how much oil is in it and uh, empty it out because you don't want that thing to erupt while it's underground. Because then EPA, EPA will come out and then you have its own problem. Okay, going upstairs. So you got, got a bedroom right here, got a bathroom right here. Skylight, radiators, all this whole thing would have to come out. Closet. Hmm. The windows have to be replaced. Okay, what we got here? This is a one, two. Look at ten. You can almost count it. It's like a ten by ten room, two closets. This must be the master. Okay, this must be. Somebody was checking out the roof. Okay, this is another room here. Child's room, office. Okay, get the backyard once again. Okay, new windows. Floors are pretty leveled. New bathroom, new kitchen, new doors. They got another tiny little room here, which looked like they were trying to do a make this into a closet or something by putting up these rods in. Okay. So, okay, new doors. We keep the trim. The walls don't look too bad. I don't see too much. Oh, there's some water damage right there in the ceiling. I need to check out the roof to see what's going on with the roof. Looks like it's been coming all the way down throughout here. Okay, so this is um, 56 Gerard Street North uh, East. Oh, look at that little critter. Oh, I got a little bug right there. All right, so we got um, one, two, three, 
four, five windows up here, a skylight. Okay. Got a little hallway closet. Your pantry closet for your towels and linens and things. Okay, so pretty level home coming back downstairs. Steps are pretty wide, which is good. Makes it a lot easier to get your stuff upstairs. So looking at it from this angle. So needs ductwork, needs HVAC. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 windows, 10, 11, 12, 13 windows, 13 windows, okay, and then downstairs you have 14, 15, 16 windows downstairs, so total 16 windows, new kitchen, new bathroom, uh, new duct work, new HVAC, okay, so, and the driveway, and, um, had to check out the roof. Looks like some roof damage in this house. All right, let's get out of here, go to the next property. So we're looking at about a $45,000, $50,000 budget uh, for this house. Take care.